Welcome back, dude. <laughs> dude, ready, go. <laughs> Hello everyone, Free the Printies here. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. On the last episode, we're spying on these guys to find out Tubba Blubba's secret. I heard a rumor that he loves g eating ghosts. Oh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! Oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why did you tell me? I also heard Master Tubble Bubba's invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh. What if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret you have with. Twink. It sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa, well, Princess Peach, how'd you get in here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Oh, boy. Busted. Oh, no. Oh, man. Back at it again. All right, well, we did free the second star spirit here, too. Thank you, Mario. At last I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Is it an extra star ability? I believe it is. So, yep, our star energy goes up to two, and we can now use the lullaby ability. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. Puts enemies to sleep. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. Mm -hmm. Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the star rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Farewell, Mamar. I'll use your ability like maybe a couple times in this playthrough. But yeah, we're uh, all set here. Just gotta do a little bit of backtracking and head back to Toad Town now. And we got a couple of pit stops to make on the way, so... Hopefully we don't run into too much trouble in the desert here. Oh boy. We gotta find the road here. Oh, yep, this guy. And these guys are running all over the place causing trouble and then he runs right in front of me. But that's okay. We took him out all the same. Not really worth fighting any more guys in this area. Oh yeah, that's right. Right over here in Colorado. Hello, Colorado. How's it going? We've got something for you, actually. I say, Mario, that artifact you have looks like it's quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to dry, dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now the mysterious ruins will rise from the sands. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order. Hey, old boy, here you go. You know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. And if you drop off that artifact, then you get a star piece, so that's good to know. One more for the total. Go ahead and do the traditional heart block save combo there. And now we're just going to do a little bit of backtracking through the uh, mountains here. Now, if you didn't fight Buzzer, I believe its name was, on the way to the desert, you would have to fight him now at this point, so... Yeah, I guess it would be easier at this point, because he'd probably be a little more leveled up, but... Eh, he's not too tough of an opponent to take on, so... Pretty simple. Alright, come on, Goombario, let's do this. We gotta... We gotta go back to town. We've got side quests to take care of today. 
probably this episode and the next. These episodes are probably the ones that will get, like, no views at all. Because nobody likes to see all the side quests in RPGs. But anyways, we're going to go all the way back to where we actually recruited Paracarry, because I don't know if you guys remember, but there was one of those stone blocks to the far left there, and well, since we got our new hammer, we can uh, bust this open right here. And there we have it, another super block to add to the collection, so let's go ahead and uh, power up Cooper, I guess, while Goombario's spazzing out there. There you go, Cooper. Now all we need to do is power up Bombette, and everybody will be good to go. So there we go, Cooper is now upgraded to the super rank. Now we're just going to head on down here to that train station, because uh, it's time to hitch a ride on the train back to Toad Town. Save my game, that way I don't got to backtrack through that again. And let's uh, hop on board for Toad Town here. Choo choo, as some would say. But uh, yeah, um, the obligatory in between chapters segment here is going to involve us going back to the sewer and doing some favors for Koopa Coot, as well as squeezing in star pieces from Chuck Quizmo, and that part is going to be the tedious part, so. Well, you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Let's just say, it'll be the only time we have to do a lot of Chuck Quizmo's quizzes. Alright, back at Toe Town, everybody. So let's head on over to, oh yeah, we gotta play Mailman, too, that's right. Yeah, we got a lot to do. But uh, before we go up here, I was going to say I don't remember if I show it or not. No, but not yet, I guess. Alright, well, you'll see what I mean in a little bit here. But uh, we're going to most importantly head up this way, because for some reason I think there's a badge in the shop that I want to buy. But there's not a badge that I want to buy here. You'll see me probably constantly checking every now and then. But I want to say you can't get the badge that I'm looking for until after Chapter 4. So, for some reason it didn't click with me, so... Well, let's uh, head on into the sewers. We might as, might as well clear up what we can down here. I like to do this in between segments anyways. But yeah, now we can smash this stone block and move on this way. And what do we have here? Oh no, another blooper. Looks like boss time. Well, we beat him before. It shouldn't be too tough to beat, right? Let's go ahead and start off with Shrink Stomp to shrink him down so that his uh, power is lowered. We'll go ahead and tattle him. This is an Electro Blooper. Electro Bloopers are Electro Charge. HP's 50, attacks 4, defense 0. Bit of advice. When they're emitting electricity, it's going to be smart to avoid contact with them. If you manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, they'll go back to normal. Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is 6. Let's try to be careful. What do you say? Well, I do agree with that. And now that we've shrunk him, we'll actually be able to lower his attack. So yeah, he wasn't even able to damage us with a block there. So, just going to switch it up to power jumps now. Yeah, that whopping 50 HP is going to take a little bit to, to drain down, so... But luckily, we've got upgraded Goombario here to help us out. Now, this attack right here can be a little annoying, the ink attack. It's kind of hard to get the timing down on that, but... Eh, it's not too crazy. You want to just keep him down, shrunk, because... We don't want to be taking too many damage. Espe too much damage. Especially if, uh... He starts charging his electricity, which he's going to do right here. But, like Goombario did say, if we can damage him while he's doing it, we can get rid of it. So, yeah, we're just going to chuck our hammer at him. Why not? But, yeah, now he won't be able to hit us with that attack. So, yeah, we're already about halfway down almost on him. So. All our FP's looking a little terrible right now, so... Pretty sure I'm about to uh, use another Shrink Stomp here, and I want to say next turn we're going to go for a refresh. Just to top ourselves off. I mean, I don't really need the HP that bad. But we could use the FP. Oh, no. He's going to Electro Charge. So, Hammer Throw time. Yeah, we don't want him getting that off. I mean, I'm assuming it would only do three damage since he shrunk. Since shrinking them count cuts their power in half. So, But let's not take any unnecessary risks, shall we? I missed the timing on that, which is unfortunate. But hey, this would be a good time to use that Refresh. So, there we go. Might as well use the what, what star power we have. Lullaby's not going to be useful on this guy, so... Go ahead and heal up there, get our 5 HP and 5 FP back. And go ahead and head bonk this guy. Yep, whopping 10 HP left. So, yeah, I would have probably used Shrink Stomp on him at this point, but since he electrified, I'm going to just go ahead and throw the hammer at him again. 
Yep, like I said, we don't want that stuff going on. Zimbari will do his damage, and yeah, next turn this guy's pretty much toast. And of course, he's going to use the ink attack. I still didn't manage to block it there, so. Oh well, most unfortunate. Just chuck the hammer at him for good measure. Get out of here, you. Give me them sweet, sweet start points. I almost said star spirits. That's not what he's going to give us. Yep, there we go. It takes care of that guy, and of course, he's going to drop a nice little button for us. And what does this do? Well, let's go ahead and check out these pipes. Aha! Shortcuts. Yeah, this uh, opens up shortcuts to the first three areas we've been to. So now we've got our shortcut to Dry Dry Outpost, the uh, Koopa Village here. And then last but not least, we'll have the uh, Goomba Village shortcut, which is all going to be important. And l luckily, the um, Koopa Village pipe puts us right next to Koopa Coot, so we'll be able to do his favors pretty easily. Oh yeah, Chuck Quizmo chilling over there. Yeah, see, I was just checking to see what letters I have. Because, yeah, I've got a letter to deliver to uh, Goom Papa here. So, I'm going to pull Paracarry out, and then while Chuck Quizmo's in the area, I'm going to take the opportunity to do any of his quizzes that I see at any time. So, let's go ahead and see what the question is. What ability does Goombario frequently use? Well, that's Tattle. Go ahead and give me that sweet, sweet star piece, Mr. Quizmo. Yeah, um, at this point in the game, we can answer 30 questions correctly. And I'm only on question number three. So, yeah. I guess you can see what we're going to have to do here. I'm going to have to grind up to 30 questions. But this is going to be the only time that I'm going to have to do this. And thanks to opening up these shortcuts, we'll have an easy way of doing this. So let's go ahead and rest up here at the end and then... Yep, see you later, buddy. I know, you guys are probably missing the Toad voice, but I just, he just says the same dialogue every time. It's just not worth it right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Goom Papa over here. Name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I say the same dialogue every time as well, so I probably won't read it that often. So there you go, another letter. Duly delivered. Yep, and usually when you deliver a letter, you get a star piece. But in this case, things are going to be a little different. Yep, we get another letter. This is starting a chain letter side quest that'll end up with us getting a reward at the end. Which, spoiler alert, is a badge. I won't tell you which one, but, well, we need it for our collection. Alright, well, now we're gonna go over here real quick. Because I gotta pick up a few things here. Drop a few things off at some point as well, if I'm not mistaken. Plus, I've got to deliver a letter. Now, for some reason, I thought this guy was the guy I was delivering the letter to until I realized, like, wasn't that guy's name Morty? And I was like, yep, Morty. That, the T stands for Toad. So, anytime you see a T, it's a Toad character. So, yeah, I just got to come in here and talk to this guy here. Here's another letter for you, buddy. What do I get? Possibly a star piece. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, it's from your wife. That's lovely. Must be nice. Well, don't go too crazy now. But yes, I will take that star piece. Thank you. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, we're going to run into the shop here, I believe, because I want to store a few things. Because I don't want to be carrying around, like, crazy good items right now and accidentally use them, so... I'm going to put away this altar shroom. And then the egg, we won't need that till later. As well as the uh, whack -a bump I do believe. I mean, I could go back and farm whack -a bumps and just be set for life, but I don't know if I want to make the poor whack -a extinct. I'd feel bad. Go ahead and save the game here and uh, head on over this way. So if I'm not mistaken, it might be Koopa Koot time. So yeah, expect us to be doing Koopa Koot favors in between chapters as well, everyone. Hello, what do you possibly have for us? Paracarry, did you come inside the door, or are you outside the door? Hmm, <laughs> weird. Well, what he wants us to do here is to go net, go a couple houses down and talk to Colorado's wife to get a book called Koopa Legends for him. A lot of his quests are going to be like fetch quests. So, yeah, expect to do a lot of running around, back and forth, shenanigans, that sort of thing. Yeah, actually, I could use this book. Koopa Legends, it was called. Paracarry apparently doesn't like to come inside. He just likes to sit outside. 
So, well, to each their own, I suppose. At least I'm pretty sure he's outside the door there. Hard to tell. No, oh, no. Well, must have not been that good of a book if it's behind the, uh, bookcase. Firmer shells in 30 days. Hmm. Doesn't quite sound like a legendary book to me. Sounds like a workout. Well, here you go. I mean, if you want to get yourself a firmer shell to impress the ladies. What do we get? Uh, a coin. Great. Well, I guess we're rolling in the money. Better not spend it all in one place. Now, of course, in hindsight here, he needs a sleepy sheep. I should have withdrawn the sleepy sheep that I had in the shop, but since it's only a couple, uh, since it's one screen over, it's not really too big of a deal to run over there and actually grab it out of the thing, so. Uh, I would like to, uh, pick up my sleepy sheep that I stashed a while back. No, nope, I'm all good. See you later, man. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. But anyways, we're going to just carry on over here and deliver this sleepy sheep. Not too much to say about this one. But, uh, there you go, buddy. Hopefully you'll be able to sleep. Although, sometimes these items miss in battle, so... What if it doesn't work? Well, he gave us a coin, so... Oh, another gift. What do, what do we have here? A silver credit, huh? Okay. Well, yeah, he's gonna give us the silver credit. We can use this card to play mini-games at the playroom, which I haven't shown off yet, but... I'll show it in a little bit, I'm sure. Pretty sure. If not, this episode will be the next one. We won't be doing too much there on camera, but I will be going there to grind coins, most likely, off-screen for a later date. Alright, he wants us to go to Goomba Village. For some reason, I decided to take the pipe to uh, the Dry Dry Outpost, which was foolish, but... Uh, yeah, we want to go through this pipe, because he said that Goom Goompa in here has a tape. And, uh, I can only imagine what's on this tape. Yeah, I'm doing okay, but I need a tape for Koopa Koop, please. Yeah, THE tape. Oh boy, do I even want to know what you guys did back in your crazy days? Okay, well, that's easy enough. And what are you doing hiding it behind the chair? That was quick. Well, you got a secret compartment back there? Hiding things from Guma? Well, I'll do, the, I'll do the best I can. Well, I don't think I want to know what's on the tape. Mario might, but I don't. Well, luckily for us, he's not going to tell us, so... I guess that's a mystery for another day. I mean, why don't you guys go down in the comments there and comment what you think's on the tape. I can only imagine. Then again, I don't even know if I want to know what you guys think about what's on that tape. <laughs> because it uh, might be a little too crazy. But anyways, let's get rid of this thing, so that I don't have to think about it anymore. Alright, we get another coin as a reward. Great. Now, the next quest from him has us going back to Taste Tea to make something up, so... I do have some of these stashed in the um, item shop over here, but... I'm just gonna shake that bush, because it's closer. Get a free Koopa Leaf out of the deal. So now what we're going to do next here is go and get and talk to him to start the next quest. This time he's got a hankering for some Koopa tea. Luckily for us, we know somebody who can cook that up. So yes, we will be back with your tea eventually. Just got a couple more things to take care of. Alright, well, let's go ahead and, uh, well, I don't know why I switched, oh, now I remember. I was gonna say, why did I switch Goombario out here? It's because if you go to the left over here, we can break the stone block and advance further into the sewer. There's a snowman doll there that, uh, does four damage to all enemies. And we can, uh, go through the pipe, hopefully, here. And it'll take us a little bit deeper in. So we got some spiked Goombas here. Nothing new there. Spiked Gloombas. This guy, on the other hand, there's a new enemy in here. But we're going to take care of the guys on the ground really fast. We're going to go ahead and hit up the Quake Hammer. And then thankfully, since we powered up Cooper, his power shell will be able to one-shot the rest of the enemies. Here, so. Obviously not the flying guy. We don't want to accidentally attack him anyways, because if we knock him to the ground, he'll just become a normal, normal Gloomba. 
So we're going to switch to Goombario here and go ahead and get our tattle on real quick. What do we got? This is a Paragloomba. Paragloombas are nasty winged Gloombas who make their home in the Toetown Tunnels. HP 7, attack 2, defense 0. Just like Paragloombas, Paragloombas lose their wings when attacked, then they fall to the ground and become normal Gloombas. Well, thank you, Goombario. That's very inquisitive of you. But yeah, just like you said, just normal Gloombas, essentially. Just gonna go ahead and power jump, and we're close to a level up anyways. So I'm not too worried about expending FP, plus, if I need to, but the, the um... Toad in is up there. So it's not really a big deal. Alright. Go ahead and collect our goodies after that. Lovely. Let's go ahead and push this block down and jump on that spring there. Goombario's like floating in the air there. I'm gonna get the power smash badge. Which will be will be pretty uh, handy. It's essentially like what the power jump is, but power smash with a hammer. So now we got a couple of Goombas over here. And unfortunately I jump on the one, so I get hit there. And I missed the first strike on that guy. So, yeah, he left us in a pretty bad state there. 4 HP, 4 FP. So, yeah. Now, if we come down here, we're going to skip this guy because I got weak HP here. And uh, we can't get any... get past those blocks there. So, sadly, our hammer is not strong enough to break the... I guess they're called metal boxes. As you guys got the yellow blocks, the stone blocks, and then the metal blocks. Now, we're going to come across this way because there's a couple more things to pick up here. I'm going to avoid this guy, because, like I said, my HP is pretty low. Yeah, I probably could have gone in, used a refresh, and fought them, but I didn't think it was really worth it at the time. But I do believe if we come over this way, and we drop down this hole right here on the floor, should be a nice little surprise in there waiting for us, right? Uh, Mario? Cooper? Ah, uh, there we go. wonder what the pause was for there. Well, let's go ahead and grab this super block anyways, while Cooper spazzes out, and upgrade Bombette. And that'll be all of our uh, party members upgraded to the super rank, so... Pretty good. I'd say we're making pretty good progress, all things considered. Yeah, I'll just pull Goombario out, even though I probably should have pulled Paracarry out, because that would have made more sense at this point in time. And you'll see why, because this pipe takes us back to the room we were just in. But now I want to ride the elevator up, switch to Paracarry, and get off at this first little platform here. We got Paracarry flies across here. Now I could have switched to Cooper here if I would have thought about it and just grabbed the star piece from there, but yeah, Paracarry works just the same, so let's grab ourselves another star piece to add to the total. So yeah, not too not too bad. But I do believe that that's all we can do in the sewer, so I think we just uh, are going to leave now. Need to head back to Toad Town so we can whip up that tea. Do a few more things. We still got some letters to deliver. We've got what you call it. Yeah, that's Chuck Quizmo quizzes coming up. That's gonna be nice. Well, it was painful for me. Won't be so bad for you guys, so. Well, let's go on up here and well, taste tea's just right up there, so I guess we'll grab some of that Koopa tea on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. See you later, Pretty Squad. Have a great day.